Ribonucleic acid, commonly known as RNA, is a vital molecule found in all living organisms. It is indispensable for various biological processes. It plays a crucial role in protein synthesis, acting as a messenger carrying genetic information from DNA to the ribosomes where proteins are assembled. RNA is a single-stranded molecule composed of nucleotides, each containing a ribose sugar, a phosphate group, and one of four nitrogenous bases – adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. These bases pair specifically to ensure accurate genetic coding. Understanding RNA structure and function is fundamental in molecular biology research. It provides insights into genetic expression and regulation. RNA extraction is often the first step in various downstream applications, including gene expression analysis, disease diagnosis, and drug discovery. This process is critical for obtaining pure RNA samples. Trizole reagent, a widely used solution for RNA isolation, offers a reliable method for extracting high-quality RNA from various biological samples. It is favored for its efficiency and consistency. This essay will provide a step-by-step -step guide for extracting total RNA using Trizol reagent, ensuring you understand each phase of the procedure. We will delve into each step of the process, from homogenization to RNA redissolving, highlighting essential tips and considerations for successful RNA extraction. Proper technique is crucial for optimal results. Whether you are a seasoned researcher or a novice in the lab, this guide aims to provide a clear and concise understanding of this fundamental molecular biology technique. Mastery of RNA extraction is a valuable skill in any research setting. The first step in RNA extraction is homogenization, which involves breaking down the cell walls and releasing the cellular content, including RNA. This is a critical step to ensure that all cellular components are accessible for further processing. Trizol reagent, a monophasic solution of phenol and guanidine isothiocyanate, effectively disrupts cells and denatures proteins, including RNases, which can degrade RNA. This ensures that the RNA remains intact and free from enzymatic degradation. During homogenization, the sample is lysed in trizol reagent using mechanical disruption methods such as tissue homogenizers, bead beating, or sonication. Each method has its own advantages depending on the sample type. The volume of trizole reagent used is crucial and should be optimized based on the sample type and size. Accurate measurement ensures effective lysis and high-quality RNA extraction. Insufficient reagent may lead to incomplete lysis and RNA degradation, while excessive reagent can dilute the sample and reduce RNA yield. Balancing the reagent volume is key to successful RNA extraction. The homogenization process should be performed quickly and efficiently to minimize RNA degradation. Speed and efficiency are essential to preserve the integrity of the RNA. Maintaining the sample on ice throughout the procedure helps to inhibit RNA's activity. This step is crucial to prevent any unwanted degradation of the RNA. After homogenization, the lysate should appear homogeneous and free of any visible tissue fragments. A clear lysate indicates successful cell disruption. This homogenized lysate is then used in subsequent steps of the RNA extraction process. Proper preparation at this stage ensures the efficiency of downstream applications. Following homogenization, the next crucial step is phase separation where the homogenate is separated into three distinct phases based on their polarity. This process is fundamental in isolating the RNA from other cellular components. This separation is achieved by adding chloroform to the homogenized sample, followed by vigorous shaking and centrifugation. The addition of chloroform is a critical step that ensures the proper partitioning of the sample into its respective phases. Chloroform, being immiscible with the aqueous trezol solution, forms a separate layer at the bottom of the tube. This immiscibility is key to the separation process, as it allows for the clear delineation of the different faces. During shaking, the chloroform interacts with the lipids and proteins in the sample, 
further denaturing them and facilitating their separation from the aqueous phase containing RNA. This interaction is essential for breaking down complex molecules and ensuring a clean separation. Centrifugation at high speed, typically 12,000 times G for a specific duration, usually 15 to 20 minutes at a low temperature, 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, is crucial for efficient phase separation. The precise control of these parameters is vital for the integrity of the RNA. This step results in the formation of three distinct layers. A lower organic phase containing proteins and lipids, an interphase containing DNA and an upper aqueous phase containing RNA. Each layer represents a different component of the original homogenate. Carefully collecting the upper aqueous phase without disturbing the other layers is crucial for maximizing RNA yield and purity. Precision in this step ensures that the RNA is free from contaminants. This phase, enriched with RNA, is then transferred to a fresh tube for the subsequent precipitation step. This transfer is the final step in the phase separation process, setting the stage for further purification and analysis of the RNA.